you, you know we have a black guy now working for us? We have a black guy now. Yeah, Doc. Yeah, you're not scared? Would you believe it, Steve? No, I'm Doc. You're not I'm scared like of him, though? You're not going to no, steal I'm him, are you? Doc. Are you going to steal our black guy, too? Four <laughs> cheats in this motherfucking episode. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. Bro. <laughs> Scissor Brothers. <laughs> 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 Hey, brother. How you doing, man? I'm doing okay. How you doing? I'm doing great. You're over on my side today. Yeah, I just felt like it. You, you just know? felt like it? Yeah. Okay. Did you want to get into the song? Do you just want to dive right into the song? I'm Absolutely. feeling I'm feeling soulful Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Let's, let's get into this. Yeah. All right. California to be off tune like that. Hey man, I got more uh, soul than that. Don't <laughs> they set me up, <laughs> dude? That sounded fire. Honor. Oh what my goodness, that might that be the did. best entrance to one of our podcasts ever. Are you coming in that on, was on magic, that, Doc? That I, was I felt magic. It. I felt it, fellas. I was sitting over you here saying to myself, man. like, you let me come great. in. Uh, tune wasn't that. Wasn't that fucking fire, but... It sounds good. It what? sounds it was good. good. Yeah, 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 you did great. We were into it. Mm-hmm. Big time. I wanted to toot my own horn, but thank mm-hmm. you. Oh, it, it sounded good. Yeah, feel <laughs> uh, Who are some of your favorite R&B groups? Because that, that's, I was trying to channel some like kind of boys to men yeah. kind of vibes with that song. Uh, okay, that's boys to men. That's... Eh. No? Oh, no, what about the new edition? Like, new edition? Uh, it's older. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. Maybe 
Jagged Edge, maybe a little upper in the 90s. Oh, that kind yeah, of yeah. Shit. Ooh, 90s. Yeah. What? Troops. Yeah. 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 Troops. Oh, there it is. That's what I'm saying. Wings. There it is. Maybe a little bit of, it could be a little bit yeah. of Casey Jojo, you know, Joe to see a little oh, bit. Yeah. But, you know, I'm looking at that Jagged Edge. Oh, Mint yeah. Condition? Mint condition, okay. Yeah. Wow, bro, you are. He knows yeah, his music. High five. On. High five. Damn, bro, I, I didn't even remember that. I can't wait another minute yeah, okay. for your love. Yeah, good Ooh. shit. Yeah. You, you ain't. Hey, yeah, I'm 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you just got so much more cred from Doc, like, God, immediately. Damn. Oh, hey, man, I'm oh, you didn't know hey. I knew that? Straight past for that me, stuff. man. That's hey, good dog. stuff. Hey, you belong on Crenshaw a little bit. <laughs> A little bit. <gasps> like Steve they, wouldn't, they wouldn't have yeah. some <laughs> nah, they dude, well, you know, they, Crenshaw. Nah, man, because you know some of them own the stores over there and shit. You know, it's fucking. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. true fucking, yeah. 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 Man, real talk. Yeah, you know, I like I like my music. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, I used to go to um because uh, when I first moved here from Kansas, I would. I only knew Walmart. That's all I knew, like growing up. So I was like, "Oh, I got to get all my groceries there. That's where I'll get my clothes, all that stuff." Like whenever I was coming out here, and the only one in LA that was even remotely close to here was the one on Crenshaw. Not the best part of town where that Walmart. I don't even know if it's still there anymore. But like, I went there and like it was. I had some shady by encounters. By the mall, with, right? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. right by the police station on Crenshaw. Okay, right, right. Yeah. So it's safe enough. Yeah, safe enough. Yeah. Safe enough. <laughs> when you're that close you to the police in the station. Jungle. You were <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. But me coming from Kansas, right. I was definitely the only white guy that was in there and I would get some looks for sure like like What year was this? I mean, 2009. Oh yeah, yeah, that was right before they started really yeah. gentrifying that, mm-hmm. that area. Yeah. 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 Okay. So every time I go over there, it'd be, it'd be kind of like it was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I get a lot of, that's interesting kind of looks. <laughs> hey, you you are... know, it's crazy. I, you know, like I said earlier, before we started filming, I'm like, I saw I saw Skippy, shout out to Skippy at In-N-Out Burger, and your name got brought up. Because they're ta- he was talking about the history Hi, of this comedy store and stuff. Yeah. But he, he let me know. He was like, you know Doc Scott Street history. Like, out of respect, I go, what do you mean? He's like, oh, he's a, t- he was giving you props. He's like, dude, he's a tough guy. Yeah, like, is this true? Know. Like, you have, like, history from Chicago or something? Or? Detroit. Well, yeah, because I was, I you know, I was in, uh, we, I talked about this on several podcasts, but I was a te- in teenage drug dealer that was in the gang. So, like, Detroit gangs is a little different. Mm-hmm. It's more dealing with money and gang shit. I mean, money and uh, drugs, money gang shit. So you're part of a gang because of money area. This area makes money, so we're going to call ourselves this. Mm-hmm. It has oh, nothing I... to do with, oh, I'm from this gang. Nah, yeah. we didn't. It's just money. Yeah, money. Like, you know, so, and in that mix, shoot, you know, the kind of guys I was around, shoot, dudes used to shoot each other and fight him. Yeah. How'd they was, recruit it was wild. You? No recruit. No just recruit. Just by being in the area? Yeah, well, I, they lived. They they sold drugs like five houses on a corner store from where I live. Right. So I, I mean I grew up, I mean I I grew I grew up with these guys. Oh. So it was like weird because I had like people don't know in the hood most kids don't sell drugs like it's just those guys. Mm-hmm. So you got these guys making money, right? Then you got these guys going to school, and I was hanging with these guys first, and then. Things start going bad for me and my mom at the house because we found out that my father was on crack and things start going worse because my mother kept trying to help him and she was paying all the bills and things got behind. I had holes in my shoes and instead of going to get a goddamn job because I had a paper route and then I stopped doing that and I said, fuck this, man. I got to get more money like a dumbass. How how, how much was uh, were you making on the paper route? (sighs) I don't even remember. It, it, that's how bad of Com- money it was. Compared to, it, it, compared trying to, to deliver crack. papers in the winter too, that shit was horrible. It was cold. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, it, I mean, I think to I would drugs, probably sell crack Well, let me put too. it to you this way. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the most <laughs> I've made. Saying? Yeah. The most I've made in one hour was five hundred dollars selling drugs. Ooh. Yeah. Because you don't have to remember, a lot of people don't understand. This was the '80s when crack first started booming. So this money was everywhere. I mean, and on the corner, bro. It so was you're, like you're you're on the corner, literally. Street, yeah, strip corner. Well, I started off watching out for the police, 
So you're because I was like, man, how y'all get these new shoes? Guy, what yeah. is y'all doing to get all these shoes all the time? Because these dudes coming around with new shoes every day. Some every nice Jordan, Jordans. whatever came out, bang, yeah, bang. Yeah. You're like, God damn. Just well, you're like 12. Fresh, looking fresh. Yo, dad, what is your dad? A doctor? Yeah. How, yeah, 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 yeah. Still living? how do you get all the? Yeah. yeah. So they were like, hey, man, we get these. Then I was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, so I was like, how do I get? And they were like, nah, man, you don't know. You don't know the rope. So you got to. So my boy was like, oh, damn, I said his name. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you showed you the rope. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, he looked yeah, out we for me. Doc, 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 wor- Doc is the worst lookout guy. He's dropping names. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even snitching though. It's just he's yeah, street yeah. yeah. So he was like, So you gotta uh, pay your dues. No, it's not even paid dues. It's just you don't know the streets. So, so they had a they look out for you. you. So they're like, Man, you know, what we'll do is you just, I'll pay you $50 a day. Just to do that? Just to watch out for the police force. So that's what I would do. I would sit there and look stupid. That's 5 0. Holy shit. That go to goddamn Raven. The fucking. Put your nuts, get to get, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, get the goddamn drugs out from under your nuts and everybody just play. Damn. So, you know what we used to do? The police used to be so mad of us because we used to buy basketball rims and we used to play basketball. And they would come and they would confiscate our rims and we would bring another rim and they'd be like, fuck, like the next, like they would come and take it. Then three hours later, we'll go drive and bang, buy another one and bring it from Sears and they'd be like, fuck. <laughs> we're like, man, we just playing basketball. And they go, you niggas ain't playing basketball. Y'all selling crack and I'm sick of this. And so like, they, they used to be so mad at us, dog. <laughs> Did anybody get really good at basketball like through inherently selling crack, if that makes well, sense? There were... Let me see. Uh, <laughs> what you didn't like that no, question? I like, I liked it a yeah, lot. It's, right. Like, like, what if somebody yeah. gets like really good and then it's like <laughs> they stop selling crack because they get a scholarship yeah. or something because of the basketball? <laughs> Two, like, Pretty good, th- man. three or four of the guys. One of them was Hoopers. the quarterback, the star quarterback of the high school football team. Mm-hmm. Uh, two of the guys was on, I believe, Northwestern's basketball team okay. that was out there on the street. Oh. But they would all of us move more towards the street life than. Where where they probably could have flourished at, you know? Because yeah. how'd you started. get out of that street life and start doing the comedy route? <laughs> That's a long ass gap in between. There. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a big gap. That's a big gap. That's a huge yeah. gap. Yeah. Well, here's a better question: When did you move out of Detroit to Ca- to Cali? Scissor Brothers. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, what are you doing reading a book? Oh, don't you have a th- other things to do? <laughs> I'm not reading a book. What are you doing? I'm reading my tour dates. Come see me, Batavia, Illinois. This weekend, it's right outside Chicago. Come on down, I got five shows. December two through four, and then San Francisco. I'm there December 30th through January 2nd. January 8th in Jeffersonville, Pennsylvania at Soul Joel. We're doing a live Live Scissor Scissor Bros Bros podcast. podcast. And make sure you go to patreon.com slash scissor bros for all of that exclusive content you can't get anywhere else. It's like a clubhouse, but with exclusive content. Also, I'm in Indianapolis and Fort Wayne, Indiana, January 21st through 22nd, and then Houston, Texas, I'm there, January 28th through 29th, and December 6th and December 13th, doing two special events on my YouTube channel. I don't plug it very often, but a documentary and my one-hour special for free. Check those out. Thank you guys so much, and let's get back into this episode of... Scissor Bros! We love you. I moved to here in 2000. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I got out of the uh, drug game. Well, let's be real. Right? Think about it, yep. My mom's, she made me move out the neighborhood. She made you move? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It's the craziest thing. Yeah, I I mean, it was one of the, it was a life-saving thing, but. Yeah, she's looking out for you. The problem is, is she made me move on her grandma, with my grandmother's side. And so, like, I would always, I actually went to elementary school and middle school over there, and then she pulled me out of seventh or sixth grade to, and then moved me over that way, mm-hmm. and that's when I got into drugs. But she sent me back over that way to go back to school. So now all the guys, not all of them, but a lot of them that I went to middle school and elementary with, mm-hmm. they were drug dealers. <laughs> so, like, yeah. so I started, instead of, at this point, though, I knew the streets. So I started buying you know, half ounces and ounces, whatever, and then 
giving it to other guys to sell on the street. So I had my own foot soldiers. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of money. But Define you know. what is a foot soldier. Is that just... Well, foot soldiers just... Have you seen Teenage Mutant really- Ninja Turtles? <laughs> But dude, this is a different reference. Well, uh, that's you know, a cartoon. This is gang stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it still kind of applies. You know, oh, okay. we're kind of more innocent podcast for oh. our listeners. Foot soldiers are are are, are what Shredder would send out as oh, minions on the, on the to, street to fight the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Right. But continue, Doc. But mine would <laughs> go out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But my foot soldiers would go Good out analogy. and, and sell Great drugs. Analogy. Good analogy. <laughs> Keep going, Doc. We love it. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> When she, but when, but when, when what happened is I got out of juvenile because mm-hmm. I got locked up in juvenile. Yeah, and uh, my mother found out that I was back out selling crack again, so she she called me in the house at nighttime and she said, "You know, you back selling drugs again." I said, "No, I'm not." She said, "No, I saw you give the crackhead the money and the drugs, and y'all did the exchange. I saw it." And I was like, ah, damn. So she's like, from now on, you got to start coming in at 10 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, cool. Because at that point, when I was living over that side still, I had the other guy selling drugs for me. So I had moved up. Mm-hmm. So like, so basically, Doc is Shredder in this analogy. Yeah. And he's sending out his foot soldiers as his minions to sell the crack. So basically, Doc is a crack shredder. There it is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, I yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay, good. okay. Yeah. Respect, dude. Respect. Yeah. And then, so. and then his mom in this analogy might be like a master splinter. Is like you're going down the wrong path. Right. Continue. Yeah. yeah so she basically just. I got next it. Next day, she made me move with my aunt. Okay, that's the next good. Morning. That you did that, and that's what happened. And I moved, mm-hmm. but then I got over there, like I say. Those guys was I started messing around over there, mm-hmm. and I was still selling, but she didn't know, and nobody knew. <laughs> Matter of fact, <laughs> what's funny is this is funny because I just was telling my aunt like I was having a, like a a reveal moment with her on the phone like last week, and I was like, you know, I used to borrow your car to go uh, drop off crack. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> like yeah, I used to tell her I was going over to girls' house because I was, but I would also drop crack off to the other guys and get my money and then go see the girls. So it was yeah. like, I was going to see the girls, but I also had to get that, you know? What I'm, no. yeah. <laughs> my bad. So wait, 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 his wait. aunt in this analogy would be like April O'Neil, how sometimes the turtles would, would <laughs> take the, the van of April That's right. fucking. He's <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles <laughs> the teenage street Ninja analogies Tur- yeah. and stuff. Okay, we'll get off this topic soon. Um, so by the time, because you have a history at at the comedy store, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been Is there it for true? That's how, that's how I originally. I've known Doc for all right. Let me for okay. Over a decade. Let's do that question. I've known Doc for over a decade. How do you, yeah. do you remember when you first met Jeremiah? Talk about that. You remember that? No, day. but I don't remember when I first met him. But I remember when he first started coming around the store. Because really, he was like, it, it's just like this whole dynamic and circle of all of them. Mm-hmm. So there's Who's all of them. Okay, so to? there was they all kind of ran, if not together, but they all were kind of in the same places. So it would be him, Hinchcliffe, mm-hmm. Matt Edgar, mm-hmm. Rail Battle. Mm-hmm. Uh, Benji, Benji, Josh Adam Myers, Esther, Josh Adam Myers, Gerard, Esther, Gerard, a- Angelo, Gerard, Gerard Esther, yeah. Yeah. J- uh, Jamar Neighbor. It's just like Jade this. Catapretta, yeah. yeah, Jay Catapretta. Mm-hmm. So that was it. That whole circle right yeah. there. And then one other person, she stopped doing comedy, Julia, Julia Lovater. So yeah. all of them yeah. would be like miking and doing things together. This It was just like one of the most, for me, like the most talented group of kids I've seen in a while with except for Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Bad. <laughs> We're getting editing that oh, out. I've been getting okay, it all day from uh, them dudes, yeah. man. See, 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 from Doc, Bobby and them, they be getting me, dog. Doc, we treat you with respect on Scissor Bros. Yeah. We come when we wrote a all song respect. about how all respect. you are black magic <sighs> and that Your big about penis. how you slang dick and yeah. you have a big, big penis. Dick. And then all they just they just make fun of you on that show. It's rubbing off on Doc now. I'm worried about him now. He started roasting me. Yeah. It, that came out of a dark <laughs> place from Santino and Bobby. You I know that's not the real Doc. Doc has never talked to me that way. It's Doc. bad friends rubbing off on him. I wish, I wish Doc, that was true. Doc, this is a positive but, uh, podcast, man. You know, you don't have to do that here. We love you. Um, 
So you remember me? So that was a talented group of up and comers, right? Yeah, man, like just cra- like cr- like crazy insane. Like, which by the way, majority every last one of them paid regulars. Mm-hmm. Like when you think about the group, it's mm-hmm. like with it's the exception true. of maybe Real Battle, but look what Real doing. He's like yeah. Will Smith. Doing TV. Yeah. Doing all yeah. kind of, you how know what hard I mean? is it to be passed at the store? Has it changed over the years? Like how? What's that process? Well, like? the dynamics change with talent coordinators, so it's no different from any other club. That's in regards to just getting passed. Right. But the but the hardest thing about it is just being consistently good enough or respected enough to to hold your spot at that club. Ooh. Because. Between that, like I always say, uh, Hollywood has the big three, like the big three automotive company. You got Ford, Chrysler, and GM. Mm-hmm. And then, but with Hollywood, it's the Comedy Store, Laugh Factory, and the Improv. Mm-hmm. So, and it's because they're all in the same area. They all right there, and just like the big three in Detroit, they all were in Detroit. Right. So it's like, and, and it's, I like it's, that comparison. It's heavy. It's heavy, heavy competition, and and, and often eerie. What do you mean by that? You know, like, because of the stories, the past, and then you could see the, oh, you got a spot, like, you you hear them, oh, you got a spot at the factory, huh? Okay. Ooh, jealousy? Yeah, there's this little tug of war, because th- if you ever paid attention. He said tug of war. Oh, no, he just broke his <laughs> we, <laughs> we had a little bit of a thing that happened um, last uh, episode on our show where- uh, In Missouri. So, in Missouri, we were in St. Louis. And we did a live tug of war with the audience uh, where we had volunteers come up. And a dude broke, broke his, his finger. Oh. During and, and tug Doc, of his war. finger was like, like, like pointing backwards. Oh, my God. Man. On stage, bro. I, what did, did they stop it? Or? We, yeah. Oh, we had, I thought y'all just kept going. Like, like, oh, no, 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 well, <laughs> we, we, we finished the show. Um, they took him to the hospital while we finished the show. Yeah. Did y'all get in trouble for that shit? Uh, they mm-hmm. had insurance. Yeah, they had insurance. Oh, okay. insurance. Yeah, and I'm yeah. going to, and, and he's coming to my show in Chicago. I've been talking with him. I'm going to hook him up with merch and stuff like that. Okay. Right. Good dude. Shout out. Shout out Jimmy. Yeah. Shout out Jimmy. Yeah. Continue with your story, Doc. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he heard tug of war and then yeah. he just started shaking. Yeah, just, he had PTSD yeah. no, and stuff yeah, like that. because that just happened. Oh. It just happened. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're talking about crazy. the big three and then. Yeah, it's, you know, it's the, so the store and it, it, they have their own comics and then they have the Theo Vines and the Sebastians and so on and so forth, the Gerards, and those are the ones that they can just all go hit all three. So there's this, there's that aspect, but then there's this other thing where I'm a comedy store comic, and then there's well, I'm a Laugh Factory comic. Well, I'm an improv comic. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So like, it's it's crazy because. You would just think, hey man, everybody just doing jokes. Can everybody just like nah? You would man. think that. Yeah, yeah. but it's yeah, yeah. just like so cutthroat and so much. So it's like, clicky. It's hella clicky. Clicky. It's like high school on steroids. It is. It's that yeah. bad. It's that bad, guys. It's that bad. Yeah, of course. Like or, or, okay, or well, high add school in, on add, crack for dogs. Yeah, add more in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they just smoke yeah, crack yeah, there, yeah. you know? <laughs> but that's what I'm going to say. You add in all the drugs and all the part. Yeah, they <laughs> fucking be, you know. So it's, it's interesting to. It was one of the, I'm, I'm telling you like the best experiences of my life, like hands down, man. I loved the comp man. That fucking place, fantastic. Even when I was there, going through what I was going through with Tommy there, mm-hmm. that fucking place. You can't like ruin what that place was. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. as long as the mom's energy was there, it had this. Oh man, like this this thing about it. And then you and, and, and I, if, if I, I I can't even you can't even place a finger on the the aura about the place. Mm-hmm. But you know how like when you know or you probably may have heard like customers will come and they'll be like this place is just so so weird like it's that vibe you can't put you can't you can't even explain it you can't put it into words man, like man. when you're there it's like a different kind of energy. Eddie Griffin. One of the many times he was uh, banned. Yeah. Uh, it's not many, it's a few times. But when he was, he came back, when she let him come back, he was supposed to perform actually the day before. Okay. So I'm coming down the hallway and then I'm standing next to Sergio Love. And then he walks up and he looks at the list. And then he's like, kind of looking terrified. And then he walks over to me and Sergio Love and he goes, yeah, man, I'm 
I'm back on stage today for the first time. And, and I said, okay. I said, so, so Eddie, you been in here before? What are you talking about? He goes, nah, man. He's like, man, you know, I've been gone for three years. And I said, I said, oh, yeah, it has been about three years. And he goes, yeah, man. He said, you know, he said, man, man, I just, I ain't gonna lie to you. I had a spot yesterday and I, I bitched out. And I go, what? I go, what do you mean you bitched out? He said, I just, man, dog, I, I didn't want to show up. He said, you know, everything that I have, I built on that stage. Mm -hmm. And he said, Missy used to put me up seven days a week. He said, you put me up in the apartment. So everything that I had, and he said, so me going away from that, it, I was, I had to go do other places. And he said, in other places, everything is lit up and you see the people. He said, but man, when you on that stage right there, he said, man, she got the carpet black, the table black, the walls is painted black, everything. And she got this light so bright, you can't see past the first two rows. Really? Yeah, it's hard for you. Like you have to do like this. You have to. That's why you always see people stand up close on the rail and put their foot yeah. up on that so they can see. Because if you stay in that back, that. you stay right there. You like fuck. Like yeah. at night and them lights hitting you here, hitting you there, hitting you there. So he said, he said it's like I'm naked up there. And he said I was afraid of being naked again. And I said, God damn, Eddie. I said that almost. That's deep, man, that's deep. Yeah. 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 So you guys prefer that? Like not seeing the people like you y'all? Like you know what, you man? I do now. Like not not even not to see the people, but I do uh, have a respect for that. Hmm. Like there is this. I mean, it. I don't think it really 100 percent matter because when you go to New York, New York comics are so that like. God damn, that East Coast pocket, man. What do you mean by that? What are the differences? What you, okay, well, let's do this. Here's the difference. Let's look at the legends. George Carlin, New York. Dave Chappelle, Washington. Martin Lawrence, Washington, D.C. Uh, you got uh, Kevin Hart, Philly. You got Chris Rock, Brooklyn, uh Eddie Murphy, Queens. You got Louis C.K., Boston. You got Joe Rogan, Boston. You got Fitzsimmons, Boston. You got Sarah Silverman, New York. You got, if they didn't live there, they moved there. You had Mike Epps moved out from Gary, Atlanta to move to New York. You had Leslie Jones left and went to New York. You had, like, just the, the Wanda Sykes, New York. Patrice O'Neill, Bill Burr, Boston. Patrice O'Neill, Boston. Like, it's he's fucking... He's in some East Coast. Man, yeah. that pocket yeah. is okay. crazy. Yeah. Dude, you're like an encyclopedia just <laughs> that's good yeah See? man and when you like you can feel the energy when you go to new york to do shows it's like Heesh. different man what you are got the differences guys i just want to know what are the differences opposed to you doing an do or set opposed to like the seller or something difference between new york comics and la comics yeah go ahead go ahead they're more about the joke yeah like la uh, i mean i'll be the first to admit like with with my act like i'm I lean more on performance than the joke. You know what I mean? Like yeah. oh, your perf overall performance. I'm I'm more way more theatrical. When I go to New York and I do shows there, I have to reset the room because I'm so theatrical that literally on the lineup, the audience isn't used to it because they're used to da 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 da. Where I'm like da 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 da. Ah, yeah, you know, yeah, like it's yeah. like more. Uh, it's like a different it's Act out, different notes, different melody, right. all that stuff. Yeah, they have because it's it's like. Well, I mean, the, the proximity of performance places, clubs and restaurants and bars is is unheard of. Like, it's just like, God damn it. Like, I, you do the open mic run out there, Steve, you, you'll go one uh, here, another block, two two buildings down, one down over there. It's like, are you fucking, you just be running the different Seven. ones trying to. Grind, grind, yeah. grinding, grinding. You know what we need to do? We need to do some scissors. We yeah, let's do some we, yeah, let's we do some scissors. Done. Yeah. Doc, I don't even know if you are aware of what these are. <laughs> but, but just just follow us. Just follow along. Basically, we cross our arms like this and we count along with our viewers at home uh to get, you know, the good energy out there and it's a good reset on energy. So, here let's we go. Some inverted scissors. So some inverted like, so like, like this? this? Okay. Go like this. Ready? How about some Ninja Turtle scissors? Yeah, so like, like let's spread them like like, like, like this. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Five, four, four, three, two, one. One, one two, <laughs> three. Count along, dog. Four, four five, five, six. six seven, here we go. Seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, eleven 
12, 12 13, 13, let's do 20, 14, 15, 15 16, 16, 17, 18, 18 19, 19, 20. 20. Man, it felt like Scientology. Is this weird? <laughs> what was that? A little bit of... Do you feel good? Yeah, I feel yeah. something. <laughs> you know what, Doc? Uh, I've always liked you, man. Always. Hey, man, I you like you too, You were always Steve. so nice to me, man, personally. Yeah. You know, when I was doing those open mics and... I'd always talk to you. You talk to me in the parking lot of the store, yeah. and uh, I appreciate that about you, man. Hey, you know, man. I, hey, you know what, Steve? I, I always uh, like genuine dudes. Yeah, and you've always been genuine. Like the, the, like what, what I did at when we talked about this on. Dude. Okay, what well, he's doing. <laughs> That's beautiful. I yeah. like that. Keep that. Uh, you, you, you don't try to be something. No. You just you. Exactly, yeah. And, and, and you. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, is he doing this all the time? Format? I, don't, I don't care. Keep, keep going. Going. This sounds beautiful. Yeah. You, you, have a, you have a natural R&B voice, so it, what, literally anything you say uh, sounds amazing. I still want to well, talk about other go. subject matters, though, with Doc. Oh, Doc, can, yeah. can I... <laughs> Feel the vibes. <laughs> it's going down. Tonight, yeah. Ooh. Hey. Okay. It's feeling the vibes all oh, tonight. It's going down. Feel it. Oh, You're yeah. the real you, Steve. Feel it. D to we the O here. to the C. He was always very, very nice to me. Bass Talk Willis from D the D C. <laughs> I'm always on, man. I, he's from the big D and he's got a big, big D. D. Yeah. Oh, he's from yeah, the big D and he's got it's a very standard. big D. Oh, yeah. He says it's standard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he used to be a drug dealer, so I don't know if I can really trust his honesty. <laughs> hey, I changed man. You know? D, he's a changed from man. D from Detroit. D from Detroit. So, Doc, I also wanted to talk about, um, I've always, I've heard rumors, because, you know, from a lot of other uh, comedians, <laughs> good good little interlude there. Um, are there real, go like, when you worked at the store, did you experience any paranormal activity, like real ghosts? That's a great question, actually. Because oh. I always wondered that. I'm fascinated with ghosts and paranormal well, activities. Go ahead. Do you got stories? So, the belly room. Go ahead. Okay, the belly room is a room in the comedy store that's upstairs for the audience. If you ever, like, go, even if you can Google, you can see they have photos showing you the stairs that go up. Upstairs is where the belly room is, mm -hmm. which a lot of stories supposedly has happened. And in Why my case- Why they call it the belly room again? Didn't they have, like, abortions Yeah, because of what it was. Easy, bro. It was not because uh, of that. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> we'll edit that out yeah, for no, sure. Yeah. Timestamp yeah. that. Let's timestamp uh, that. Go ahead, was, uh, Doc. Scissor Brothers! Hey man, what are you doing? We're the freeze pipe boys. Why are you doing that? What do you mean? We're the freeze pipe boys. That's barbaric. Oh, I forgot about the freeze pipe. I was with my family on the island this weekend. Catalina Island. Yeah, where you get an ice cold hit every time unlike that. Yeah. Man. Oh, why do I keep lying? doing that, man. I don't know. Do you even know how freeze pipe works, man? There's a detachable chamber. Could you chamber. explain it to me? I forgot. There's a detachable chamber you freeze beforehand, unlike that barbaric method, man. You're right. This is wow. barbaric. It's like putting Christmas Day snow in a bong, but better, man. I like Christmas Day in the way it make you feel on the inside nice and warm. Man, the freeze pipe cools down the smoke by hundreds of degrees, man. Hundreds Get of degrees? Of those papers. I already burned my fingers six times trying to light that J earlier. Yeah, man. I got the freeze pipe in the closet. We're going to smoke the right way. Where can people get this freeze pipe? Go to thefreezepipe.com and press in code SCISSORBROS to save 10% off your first order, bro. Get your bong pipe or bubbler today. Get your bong pipe or bubbler today. That's freezepipe.com and pressing code scissor bros to save 10%. Oh. If you could smoke from it, freeze pipe, 
makes it, bro. You got it. No more joints for you. Just freeze pipe. Freeze pipe. The bed called the belly room because it was, she had belly dancers then it turned into like, well, it was, when it was cereals, they had belly dancers. Well, I forgot, but they have women comedians would perform Describe, up there. Describe, because these viewers might not know what cereals is. Go ahead, briefly. Cereals is actually the name of the place where... The, you keep pointing at me like I don't. The rap pack I, no, I'm I don't know this. No, no, I know you know. But I'm pointing at I know, at him. I know. This is for the audience at home. I Go understand ahead. that, but you keep yeah. hitting me like, "Are you getting a load of this, <laughs> dude?" I've been at the store okay, okay. for a long time. Okay. This is all interesting stuff. I know, but this is for them. I know, they but haven't been you there. keep touching me. I know. You but keep just, touching me. He like keeps hitting me. I understand. I like what he's doing. It's a nice documentary. Continue. Continue, Doc. Y'all done? Okay. All right. Uh the belly dancers Zero's Zero's yeah. was, was the a club where the Rat Pack used to perform and they had live performances. Then Sammy Shore purchased it. Mm -hmm. Well, at, before that, it did it be turned into a rock club, whatever. So now it, it became the comedy store. Uh, anyway, the belly room. I was there and matter of fact, Brian Moses mm -hmm. and Eric Marino was in the phone room. And they didn't know that I was in the belly room sleeping under that sign. Uh, I forget which Mark brother it is. The sign up there, you know. No. Is it yeah, I don't know if it's Groucho or Groucho which or one. I don't know whatever. It is. One of the Marks brothers, yeah. So, uh, no, it's not Groucho. It's, the, it's just the other one. So, I'm laying under there and I'm asleep. But nobody can see me because I got on all black. And I'm laying towards the... Fuck, yeah, like face down? Do yeah, I'm laying on the on a bench. Oh wow! Up under the up under the table. So there was a guy named Alf that used to work there. They don't know I'm there. He comes to the bathroom. He don't see me laying there. He's loud as hell. Oh, this is your head. And talking to uh, Eric and Brian in the phone room in the green room. Right. So I I turn and I look and I'm like Jesus Christ, man, because he wakes me up and I'm like Fuck, you loud as shit. I'm trying to take me a nap before I do this little shift. So he comes back out, they talking again. He goes down there, they're loud as shit, laughing or whatever. Then he goes back up. And then the financial manager, she comes down and she starts using the bathroom. And by this time I can't go to sleep. And then I look up and I see that the, be the belly room stage lights are on. I got my glasses off though. And there's a guy in the mirror, like kneeling on the bench right here. In, in the mirror right there. So I thought it was Yorsi. I didn't think it was Yorsi at first. It was a black guy. And I go, who is this? And I said, man, why you got the lights on? And I said, well, fuck it. So I, I went and I tried to like close my eyes and go to sleep. And then all of a sudden it was like somebody took a flashlight and brought it closer to my eyes. And I go, what the fuck? And I go, man, what is you doing, man? And I put on my glasses and then I was about to say something. Then the lights went dark and then went boom. And I go, what the fuck? And then I said, what the fuck just happened? So I grabbed the phone and I, I turned it on and I jumped over the wall and I started flashing it and I ran down the belly room, opened the belly room door and ran down the stairs. So then when I got down to the stairs and I ran through the, and I, I was looking, I said, what the fuck? I said, I said, man, wait a minute, if you're see, I said, what the fuck? I said, oh, these motherfuckers is playing. Oh, right? they make a trick on you. Yeah, I said, oh, they playing, they fucking playing. So I run back up the stairs and I run into the green room and I started yelling at Brian Moses and Eric Marino. I go, hey man, what the fuck? I mean, man, don't play shit like that, man. I was in here asleep, man. Why y'all got the lights on and they gonna turn them off? And they go, what? They go, what do you mean? And I got the fucking lights and a dude in a fucking mirror. And they go, oh my God, doc. You fucking saw a ghost. I go, get the fuck out of here. I said, Yorsi, where's Yorsi? I said, Yorsi was in the mirror. And they go, no, nah, man, Yorsi's not even here. And I go, are you fucking with me, dog? So I ran down the steps. I'm looking for Yorsi. Dog, I get so fucking scared. I go outside and I say, man, fuck this. I call my mama. Like, I'm like, fuck this, man. I call <laughs> man, I'm <laughs> man, I had to, man, I had to, fuck, man, I swear to God, man, that shit spooked the shit, like, like, for real? Then I called her, I said, man, no, I remember Brian and them said you saw a good ghost, and that pissed me off. I was like, you a fucking good ghost. Listen, man, stop goddamn playing. Y'all play too goddamn much. So I run out. I called my mother and I said, man, wow. now I want you to understand this. I said, this is what I'm about to tell you. This is weird. And I said, no, I don't just hit me with it straight. I'm going to tell you what happened. I tell her what happened. Then she goes, but I didn't tell her what Brian and them said. Right, right. And she goes, 
Well, it sounded like you might have saw a good ghost. And I go, what the fuck are you, are you, are you serious? What is a good and then ghost? She was what's, like, what's the difference between good and bad ghosts? They, from my understanding, bad ghosts do things to scare you. Right. Right. They can't harm you, so they mm-hmm. just scare the shit out of you. Mm-hmm. Where two is a good ghost just looking goofy like, hey, buddy. What you doing? All right. right. See you later. Bye bye. Some shit like that. Like, hey, you want tea and crumpets or whatever the fuck yeah. they do? Right? And so, like, it was like. <laughs> Doc would be the best ghost <laughs> ever. Be great ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so this man, was a, this hey, man, how you doing, man? You yeah. good? Hey, so, this was a good ghost. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be like. Hey, yeah. good, good time. So hey, we're, just, hey, we're hanging out or what? <laughs> they were just observing you. <laughs> hey, football's yeah, on. No, right. What it was was it looked like he was putting eye drops or something in his eye. So, he's like doing like this. And I'm like, that's why I was like, what the fuck is your C doing? What is he putting? Eye drops? You know what right, I'm saying? Right, so right. I just didn't and, and I would I would I would want to say, man, maybe my eyes was playing a trick on me because I didn't have my glasses on. But like I said, I put on my glasses and I was about to say something. And then the lights went off. And I go, what the fuck? And I go, what the fuck just happened? Like that. I go, what the fuck? First I was like, did this just happen? I go, what the fuck just happened? The weirdest shit, man. And then so I didn't talk to nobody about it, but then Brian Moses and Eric and them started telling everybody what happened to me because they was like, man, you're the only credible person. You don't get high, you weren't drinking, and you fucking, man, you was up. Because there was no way for me to been hallucinating, and I was already had been up. It was the weirdest oh, shit I've ever, man. and man, no, I ain't gonna bullshit you. You know how like at night when we had to turn the lights off and shit? Yeah. When we go in the main room, always in the main room and I'll be Ooh, like, hey what fellas. Is this, what is this thing? Now, hold on, describe what you just said. What is that thing? The main room. I mean, so, you... so the main room has a showroom. But yeah, for at, the at the end of the night, they have to shut off all the lights around the comedy yeah, yeah, store yeah, before yeah. they shut down. Okay. Yeah, so the main room is one where you go shut all the lights off because that's the main circuit board mm-hmm. for, for, the, for, the, for certain parts of the store. You got to shut off, right, 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 sign right, right, off. Right, right. So every time I would go into the main room, I would always announce I look around and I'll be like, "Hey, fellas, I'm I ain't fucking with nobody. I just want to turn these lights off." And I, I would just say that like, Went "I'm cool. I don't want to see no more motherfucking people." I said, "I'm good." I used to do that. No bullshit. Cause I was like, "Man, fuck this." That's shit. room is scary in the dark, dude. Yeah, but here's what's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm, sure, I, I'm sure you're good ghosts and everything. And, <laughs> yeah, no, but and, it used to be so scary. Woo. I'd go in there at night and I'd be like, "No, nah, I'm not." Before that. I had two episodes right before that happened. I love these. Keep going. By the way, I got freezing during the first time you told it. What do you mean you got freezing? I got cold again. Go I ahead. Go. Okay. Yeah. We love these stories. Yeah. Go we ahead, got, We love these stories. So Jimmy Pitt was a, a comedian I used to work at the comedy store. Uh-huh. Funny guy, right? And Jimmy would be scared to go to... <laughs> I'm already scared. I'm already Jimmy scared. would be scared to, to turn the lights off in the main room. So Jimmy came and got me. He said, Doc, man, can you can you just go with me this time, man, and go turn the light? I said, man, you're a goddamn coward. So, man, this, this is before Bro, I saw, yeah. right? So I say, man, let's go. And then he's like, he said, man, Doc, you don't get it, man. Man, it, it's something in this. And I go, Doc, I go to Jimmy, shut the fuck up and just go. So I'm behind Jimmy, and we come into the main room, and we're about to go into the lobby of the main room. We turn. He turns to go. Get ready to go over there to, you know, go behind the booth, the booth to cut off the lights. And I'm, we're about to, we're turning, and all of a sudden we hear like gym shoes run across the, the floor. But I, <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm, I, I'm not all the way full frame yet. I'm not in because you know how like I don't know how to explain it to the people, but you know that like. The part where the where they, where they had a little ticket booth thing right there. Yeah. yeah, Jimmy was right there, but I was coming up, so I could hear the shoes, and he like looks and yells like, "What the fuck was that?" And he just takes <laughs> off, and I go, "Fuck!" I go, "What the fuck?" I said, "Man, there's somebody playing around." He goes, "Man, you see, ain't nobody there. I'm out of here," and he takes off. So I say, "Man, somebody playing," and I run and I jump over the counter. And I run all the way back, you know how that, that hallway to go all the way yeah, back right. to the main room, yeah, back yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. I run there, I run up the steps, I run through the stage, I run around, nobody was there. But it sounded like like at the gym. Was yeah, go, the squeaky on the wood. The squeaky wood. on the wood. Yeah. It was like skirting across that marble oh, floor. that's yeah. scary, Yeah, dude, that's it sounds scary. just like somebody. Yeah. Like, like, like not a rat, not like I'm talking like gym shoes hitting the floor like shoes. Oh, my God. So like I on thought, a basketball court like I thought, that, I, I thought Jimmy was playing, and then I go, what the fuck? And I go, what the fuck was? I go, that's weird. So I just didn't pay no attention to it. Like, oh, maybe it was just 
we just was hearing things. I don't know. Okay, what about episode number three? Yeah, let's get Yeah, well, one, one these more. all lead up into the belly room was after that. So then another time I'm walking up to the <laughs> the door. This is this this is gonna be labeled <laughs> gold stores. The upstairs do- the door. And you know, there's no wind up there. Yeah. So the door is closed. Completely blocked off. So I get ready to grab the door, and the door just opens. And I go, what the fuck? So I jump back. Oh. Right? I jump back and I go. So I'm saying to myself, oh. these motherfuckers ain't hey, behind the door. I'm gonna fucking like, you know what I mean? So I jump back and I go, ah, oh, you motherfuckers. And I go, okay. And then I, I push the door like, oh, stop playing, bitches. And then I go, nobody was there. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why did this door just fucking just open? No wind. It's oh. compl- I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And I said, you know what? And then, like, the next couple months, boom, I see that shit. And I'm like, holy shit. What the fuck is going on? That's when I was like, okay. I still, to this day, don't want to believe that that's what I saw. I just be like, man, that was my motherfucking mind somehow. I don't know how. I think we need to do a dance break. <laughs> is a dance break oh you're gonna love this <laughs> okay we're gonna meet in the middle okay all right uh, uh, uh hey steven doc yeah i uh i forgot the music um can i add it in post later is that okay if we do that yeah that's fine so we'll just dance in silence doc okay is that okay yeah 90s 90s dances okay 90s hip hop okay you want to leave the front yeah I don't know what this is. Where are you guys going to get a room up there? I haven't seen that. Oh, man. Okay. There we go. So we go. Yeah, you got to get out. That's nice. I don't know what this is. Oh, oh, you, oh, you, oh, can I ask you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's the next one? Yeah, what's the next one? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Cabbage patch, okay. Okay. Cabbage patch. The running man. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. That feels good. Here we go. I'm back in the ring. There we go. Hey. Hey. Are you dancing at all along with us? We hope you are. Hey, can they hear us? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, right. Giving it to you. All right. Black magic. Hey. Hey. Woo. Feel it. Okay. Feel it. So, um. That was cool. Thanks for uh, participating with that. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know if you know this, Doc, but we have a talking giraffe that is next to you. His name's Gerald. His name's Gerald. Okay, Gerald. Yeah. Did you want to ask Gerald any questions? Yeah, Gerald. Uh, when your boy Doc gonna make it? <laughs> um. He didn't say shit back. No, just listen. Listen closely, yeah. Doc. Okay. Doc. You've already made it in my eyes. Everybody loves you and more and more people are finding out about you all the time. It's going to happen soon, my friend. Now, Gerald, do you have any questions for Doc? Yeah, I know you're getting older. Does your dick still work or what? Doc, how would you (laughs) respond to that? the fuck is going on? <laughs> just go with it. Just, just, go with what are you talking go. about? He's like, he, he, just asked, he, asked, he just asked you a question. Well, how would on. you respond to that? Oh, well, you know, I feel like uh, I am uh, kind of old, but I feel like, uh, no, I'm not old. I, I, that's a hard question, man, that what he asked. You know, he's a little bit. He's not that friendly when he had that. Because that was a question like, you know, like. That's a little bit of a rude question, You know, it's like it? asking a woman her age. And right. then, you know, he went there with it. And I didn't, I didn't appreciate it. Yeah. Kind of fucking made me like, I almost want to punch this motherfucker. Oh, don't, 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 okay, okay. Well, don't, 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 he's a friend. Okay, okay. be a friend. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, old Jeffrey here. Is your, it, old bootleg <laughs> Toys R Us. You, ain't, you don't know Jeffrey is. Doing Whoa. better. We're doing better. Nobody's ever roasted Gerald you know, before. You're, you're the never first. Did. You're the well, first. You're the first. Well, but you, you got pretty pissed at that first. question that he asked you. What was the, oh, what was the question? You you got pissed at that question he asked you. Oh yeah, because you know, no negativity I'm sensing from old 
Oh, Gerald here. interesting. Hello. Nobody's ever called him negative before. No. Maybe that's something that he should Hello, work on. You know, he is a little stiff. You know what I mean? He's a little, <laughs> he's a little stiff. So, yep. Unlike your dick. Who's so we're getting into a very interesting part of the show where we do oh. a challenge. Yeah, Doc. Now we do a weekly challenge. We do a weekly challenge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we'll see if you're down to participate or not. I think have you, you would. Ever, have you ever played poker before? No. All right. So we're doing strip poker. Doc is the ref slash dealer. He's going to. Uh, <laughs> He's going to decide who wins the hands. Uh, he doesn't have much experience. Uh, this is going to be interesting. And it's going to be full naked, strip poke. The loser's full naked. All right, we'll see. Yeah. No, 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 not we'll see. This is strip that poker, man. That wasn't the at first. No, 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 we're going all the way. We're going all the way. And then that loser has to do Buffalo Bill, tuck the dick in the, the nuts, and do a Buffalo Bill, and that's how we end it. What the fuck is a Buffalo Bill tuck well, the you, dick? Watch well, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, Silence of the Lambs. All right, Silence of the Lambs at the end. Buffalo Bill. Damn. Buffalo Bill. Now we're nice. I gotta win oh, this. Oh, you look great. You're tall. Let's do this. You didn't You didn't put on extra underwear or anything, did you? No. All right. No. Come on. Okay, you better hide your hand. All right. All right. Okay. All right, let's, let me hit you. Uh, <laughs> that's blackjack. <laughs> More bad. Woo. Okay. Yeah, dog hit me. One. So I got one. Yeah. You must have a good hand if you're only getting one. Uh, I'll take. Oh I'll take damn! Three. I'll take three. Thank you. That was stupid. All right, we gotta go. All right, what do you got? You ready? Yeah. All right. I got two tens. I got nothing. Wow. All right, take off that hoodie. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doc, dude. Are you on my side or his side? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, that's what I want. Are you on my side or his side? I'm on. You're on my side, right? You know. All right. Whoever wins, that's the uh, side I'm on. Uh, dog, dude, I thought, what happened to the talk about? Let's get this done, man. Holy smoke. No, dude. All right. No, dude. Uh, 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 no, dude. Let's get it going. Hashtag no, dude. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Get it. <laughs> Make sure I shuffle these nice and tight. Okay, now. Oh, baby. Ooh, Doc's getting confident now. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, Sliding him. Okay, Doc. Right. Here we go. You know, we can bet articles of clothing. You know, that how, that's how this works. Don't right? quit shifting the rules, yeah. man. That, that's a poker. Yeah, all right. That's poker, Doc, no, give me two. We're give me, right give me two. We have no chips. We have no two. chips right now. We can we can we can bet articles of clothing. We have no, we're usually there's chips and stuff. Otherwise, we're just showing hands and there's no there's no bluffing technique. I bet you one article of clothing. What do you mean? Oh, you can bet how many articles you, can, you want to bet. Exactly. So if you win, say you say I want two articles of clothing, then no, you have to I'll take just, off two I'll pieces. I'll just keep it normal. <laughs> Well, that's it's gonna be a minimum of one anyway. Okay, go ahead. So you just want to keep it a one. You yeah. don't raise me. No, I don't you raise call me. it. Yeah, I don't raise me. Okay, I got fat nothing. I got fat nothing. Oh, so what? Nobody takes clothes. Nobody takes clothes off. Good. Off. This is a good game. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, like, yeah, I like this. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Oh, jeez. Because we could technically, if we have a good hand, you could be like, I. I bet three articles. Of all, right, all right, I get it. I get it. Get I, it I feel anxious now. Yeah, I feel get it now. Okay, you get, I get it. it. I get it. Okay, you get it now. Come on, Doc. Be on my side, man. 
What do you mean, be on his side? He's be a dealer. Side. I know, he's be on be my side, dog. He's supposed be to be nonpartisan, dog. Doc, be on my hey, side. Hey, dog, are you calling him doc or dog? Doc, be on my side. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. I'm, uh, I'm sitting over Let's here trying to... Let's get this Dude. Let's get it going. God, he's doing good. It's a brand new deck. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, he's doing good. Yeah, he's doing good. of clothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or you or you can say call and then you 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 don't show me your hand and I you would just take off one. Does that make sense? Yeah call. So oh, you just gave you the room. <laughs> call, I call straight it. to the call. That's straight the call. to the call? Yeah. So we're doing three. What? Yeah. We're doing three articles of clothing. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I got a pair of eights. Got nothing. God damn it! <laughs> three articles of clothing. Do my shoes count? What do you think? One each. Does yeah, that count yeah. as one each? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Doc. One. You should pile them up on the table, man. <sighs> for the visual. Yeah, dude. Yeah, there it is. Two and uh, this is getting more uncomfortable about it. Two, three. Oh, oh, okay. Did the sock and the okay. and then two shoes, right? Okay. That, yep. that counts, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, you like what's going on? You like what's going on? <laughs> you have one, two, Dude. three, four. He's got four articles of moving. Oh, uh, come on, Doc. Come on, man. Hey, get, man. Let's get with the program, Doc. Get with the program, okay. baby. Okay. Come on, let's okay. do this, baby. All right, okay. Let's here get with the here program. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, this is horrible. <laughs> I had an horrible time. <laughs> I knew this would happen. <laughs> You asked for it, Doc. Dude, give me some magic, baby. What happened to that black magic we were seeing? Wait, wait. How many are you? Five. Hook me up, man. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, Doc. Give me two. I'll take two as well. Hmm. Okay. I bet one article of clothing. Okay, I bet um, I counter that with two articles of clothing. Okay. You call it two? Huh? Didn't I say one? I know, but I can raise you. Okay, just, then just two then? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I got a pair of queens. You got a, pair what do you got? Fours. You got a pair of fours? Yeah. I mean, queens beat fours, so. I know, you won. Two articles of clothing. Damn it, this is good quick. <laughs> he goes pants before shirt? Who does that? Man, that's first. Who does that? That's my choice. Who does that? So I, I'm just letting you know, I only have two left. Uh, One, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, let's get it okay. over with. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh man, <laughs> you should be naked and afraid in a minute. And this is good. Oh, By okay. the way, this table goes away as soon as uh. Dude, I'm already mentally prepared for this. Don't yeah, even worry. You are. I, have, I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm cold in here. Why is it so cold in here? Because it's cold outside. God damn it. <laughs> Come on, let's get I'm it going. Dog. God, God damn, damn it. it. I know, I know. He's the one who wanted stripped. I, yeah. I don't you worry wanted. about me. Let me do my thing. Okay. Can, Lord, can I get one win? Jesus Christ. You won in St. Louis, dude. All right, all right, dude. You won fair and square in St. Louis. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, dog, give me two. I'll just take one. Okay, I bet, how many articles do you have? Can I do eight articles? No, because you only have two, two articles. The, the most you could bet right, is two. I bet two. two, I bet two. Okay, then I'll, I mean, sure, that's fine. Okay. I can't raise you because okay, you don't have anything. All right, all right, cool. Okay, so two. Okay. Okay. You want to show cards? Let's do yeah. it. I have a small straight. That that doesn't count. You need you need the other one to oh, have a straight. Oh no no no! No, that doesn't count. Let's Google this. I'm, wait wait wait! wait. I, I have this. Oh sure. A two pair? Yeah. Does two pair beat a small straight? That's my. But that's question. a cake. Yeah. I'm, I'm googling it. I'm fact. Because I had a small straight earlier. I didn't know that counted. <laughs> Now that's bullshit, man. Dude, just because you don't. Oh, oh, look it up, man. Hurry up, man. I'm cold. Hurry up, man. Let's get it going, dude. Let's get it going. Damn. Got a heater over Is he there. making this shit up, Doc? You ever heard of a hey, small man, straight? I told you I don't even know how to play this shit. I can't find it, so I guess I'm taking off. There you go, man. That's some, you know, because I had I had a higher Whatever. small straight. I'm yeah, not. Yeah. I'm still not a. I, I don't want to dick around and waste more time, but... Yeah, just let's get it going, huh? Yeah, I had to win one. Oh, come on, here. How many you got? Here I'm you doing got. two. Oh, you got <sighs> Straight to the shirt. You're going to be freezing, dog. Okay. What the fucking meter? <laughs> I like this. I like that. I like that. What? I like, I, uh, you went... I'm surprised I, you went uh, without I'm cold. Pants. This is my my method. Well, let me do my, my thing. You do method. your thing. Let this me do my... <laughs> let's get it going, Doc. Come okay. on. Let's get it going. Oh, <laughs> Come on. I have two left. How many do you... This doesn't count, though. The belt buckle? Oh, yeah, it does. No, yeah, no, 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 it doesn't. Article, That's a part of your there. pants, right, Doc? He's using a belt buckle? A belt Well, you use socks, right? You did individual. <laughs> See, bad, that's bro. why it's good to have a ref because Steve tries to cheat every single week with no, little. No, that's not true. Edit that defense. shit out. Edit that shit out. Let's get going, Doc. Dude, Come on. Good. Great. God damn it, Doc. Yeah, man, articles is articles, bro. Okay. Thank you. Oh God, Doc. Articles is oh. articles. He said it from the doc's mouth. <laughs> All right, dude. I hear you loud and clear. Okay, dude. I don't know what to tell you, bro. You. <laughs> Sheesh. Nice economies, though, bro. Thank you. Yeah, um, they're good, man. Give me one, dog. Oh, huh? I'll take four. So you can only do this once? Yeah. Hmm. I bet you two articles are cold. That's all you got. I know. Okay, fine. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You beat me. God damn it, <laughs> Steve! You... Oh, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Did you lose on purpose, Steve? What are you? Here, <laughs> Doc, stay seated. Hold on, man. Stay Let seated, just... Doc. Oh, I gotta sit here and witness this. This is just, man. This is cheeks out, and it's it's just. <laughs> Fuck, bro. This is, I can't, man. I'm, I'm, I'm hurting for this guy. I can't even look that direction. Ass cheeks. Oh, not the cheeks. Not the cheeks galore. Oh, don't, you know, just don't clap. If you, you make know. them clap, I quit. I'm out of here. You know. I'm fucking out of here, Steve. You know, as you're <laughs> As your scissor brother. I'm vulnerable right now. You know that. As your scissor brother. I'm vulnerable. Why did you do that? Did you want to lose on purpose? Go ahead. Say what you got to say, man. Say what you got to say. As your scissor brother. Say what you got As your scissor brother. Out of solidarity. Oh, man. What is going on here? This is just. I can't even. Oh, fuck. Hey. Listen, man, I don't, <laughs> hey, man, I got street creds all over Diamond Bar, <laughs> Studio City, Valley Village. Hey, man, we, hey, oh, I didn't do this. These dudes, <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I know motherfuckers. I got people in Brentwood, fuck, all over the goddamn 
And these dudes <laughs> butt naked. Two dudes <laughs> butt naked. Two dudes and one black dude. This is fucking... <laughs> This shit is, hey, that's how we do podcast. Don't put your ass cheeks in the middle of the convo, man. Why don't you do Steve, see how Steve is? You see how Steve? Steve got naked. Jeremiah got naked. I ain't getting naked. We ain't doing that. We ain't going to have black dick, white dick, and, and, a, and an Asian dick walk to a bar. Yeah, this is not, it's not the type of crowd. We are Christians. <laughs> but that was, but that's that's true brotherhood right there. So one suffered, he helped the other one. See, on Scissor Bros, we always have each other's back. Every time. Oh, and Doc. YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. You know what? Get him, get him his yeah. present for participating. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doc, we got something. We actually got something really good for you. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, man. That is clean as hell right there. Look at that, dog. Scissor Look at Brothers. This. 32. Yep. Lee 32. That's what I'm talking about, bro. You gotta that's, wear, that's you gotta wear it next time you're on a, on a Bad Friends. Okay. Yeah, you okay. should put yeah, it on right advertise. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Put it on, but you have to wear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the Dodgers. Go on there, clean we, we, usually, yeah. we usually do a closing song, but you yeah. know what? I think that we put Doc through a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that was the finale. That was yeah. it. done in this motherfucker. That was the exclamation mark. <laughs> We were quadruple cheeked up in this motherfucker. We had four cheats in this motherfucking episode. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. Scissor Brothers. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs>